Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm hoping you guys are all having a fantastic day. <clears throat> so, today's up upload is going to be not about Winter Storm Wesley, as you could probably tell by the title. It is going to be about the potential for a rather significant severe weather outbreak. Um, this one would make uh, th possibly the biggest one of the year. Uh, it looks at this point biggest one of the year. There's some alarming factors. I mean, if you look at the models, you know, models aren't 100% accurate like, most of the time, but there are some concerning things about the models that are they're showing. You know, <clears throat> they're showing um, extreme lapse rates, extreme caps, so convective available potential energy. And this would be on Saturday and Sunday of this upcoming weekend. As I'm recording this, this is Thursday, 10.17 p.m. And I will be releasing this on... Sorry, today's Wednesday. I will be releasing this on Thursday. And uh, let's just jump into this. But before we do it quickly, uh, consider subscribing to my channel. Um, that's, you know, that, that's probably the best thing you could do. Consider subscribing. It's the best way to support my channel. If you want to show your appreciation for these weather videos, which I'm now grinding out pretty daily I will be trying to do um, more and more frequent uh, you know you could have show that by subscribing if you want to really go out of your way then you could just uh, simply click on a link in the description box below and that sends you to an Amazon item you don't have to you know buy that item you could just uh, you could just go through that link and shop through Amazon through those links and whatever you buy in the next 24 hours I get like 2% off so it's like an associates thing so it's like I earn commission off it so like you know, just consider doing that. So let's just jump right into this. Right now, Winter Storm Wesley happening across the Midwest. I will not be focusing on this in this video because I already made several videos and I feel like that's enough. But in terms of severe weather, uh, tomorrow, Thursday, it could be a little bit here across Indiana and central Illinois and Michigan. But it doesn't seem uh, to be necessarily too high, at least compared to what's going to happen this, uh, this, this weekend. So we see a low system here originating in the southwest. There are the... Mexico Rockies, I don't really want to, they're not classified the Rockies, I think they're called the Sierra Madres here, but, uh, well, it just originates in northern Mexico, it goes through, and look at that already, that's usually not uh, uh, heavy rain like we would see in winter storms, when the models start showing this, especially in springtime, that is usually a, um, you know, a, a severe weather event, and it winds down a little bit, you know, heavy rain at this point, this far north, still some severe thunderstorms, but I want to look at this, guys, show you this, just wow, I mean, some of these, are, uh, some of these colors are just uh, extraordinary, and, you know, you may not, may not seem ridiculous, but this is, this is, you. if they're indicating such colors this far out, it means that something's coming, that's, you know, that's just how it goes with these models. Um, let's look at the snow side of this, not much, maybe a couple inches in northern Wisconsin, northern Michigan, but uh, that storm passes through. Let's just go to a different feature, let's see if they have um, ML, so like convective available potential energy in uh, millibar form, so you can see that uh, this is tomorrow, Winter Storm West, so you can see not that much, not that much. And then we see this weekend coming up, look at that, southern Texas potentially seeing quite a bit, and then, um, you know, right there, a little bit more, a little bit brighter colors, and anything above 3,000 range is just, you know, uh, absolutely going berserk. 3,000 would be somewhere in this color, so that's, you know, fairly high. Uh, right now, we're getting quite a bit of severe weather action in across Kansas and Nebraska. That is to do with Winter Storm Wesley. But uh, this, you know, th this weekend, I'll show you this Storm Prediction Center. They're showing some concerning things at the very least. If we go to the, uh, <clears throat> let's just go to, uh, I wanted to show you guys something here. Uh, I guess I can't find it as of now. Let's, um... Okay, let's just go to a more higher resolution model for now, the NAM 12KM. And you can see this goes out to 84 hours, so it doesn't encompass the whole system that we're focusing on. So again, Winter Storm Wesley passes through, maybe a little bit of severe weather tomorrow in Chicago, Northern Indiana, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. But here is where it starts organizing. Friday, Saturday into the weekend, we see, you know that snow, um, the NAM has a cold bias and usually so shows snow where it's not supposed to be. Um, one time I remember it showed snow in June across Maine, which, you know, is possible, but it didn't really form out that way, but that's just, you know, my <laughs> evidence against this cold bias, and it's been scientifically proven, there's actually been studies uh, against the NAM model having a cold bias, so if we look at this right now, we see this system not nearly as powerful as Wesley, uh, the millibar, the, you know, the 
uh, the reading, the pressure reading isn't that necessarily too low, but still enough to produce a broad area of rain that would produce quite a bit of heavy rain across these areas. And look at this. This is uh, indicating a, a squall line that would be fairly significant. And again, this takes on a mushroom shape cloud storm. So I want to change the color of this. Let's just change it to like, yeah, let's just keep it at yellow. I want to see if this, okay, so, um, okay, let's change color. I'm so like, I'm sorry, guys. Okay, le let's leave this as this. So notice how it's like, I always call these mushrooms because they literally look like mushrooms. If you look at this, this is literally like a mushroom. And this is a classic example of a big spring storm that has the inflow of moisture from the south. I mean, this thing is just pumping in here and it has like the, you know, the rain shield here. Uh, it's showing a little bit of snow here. I would not focus on that too much. Again, the NAM t tends to have a cold bias. And this is how far it goes. 84 hours so let's go to the mm, uh, I wanted to show you let's go to the 200 millibar wind this will show us how much uh, what is you know what the ingredients are coming together with this so for winter storm Wesley I want to show you this uh, we saw or we are still seeing um, we are we are seeing a, a buckle in a jet stream right across the southwest the storm came up here and now it's riding the jet stream and that's producing I mean look at that a lot of lift and a lot of uh, you know, a lot of high, not, this is actually low altitude winds, and this, you could create those tots, uh, those thunderclouds to spin, and um, even just become severe, so we look, we have a big, you know, pressure drop here, and then we start seeing the system form, and look, it just takes this whole piece of energy and just shoves it up to the north, um, just goes to show you how powerful this system is in terms of its uh, impact on the winds and look at this buckle very strong and along these um, these wind maxes if this was uh, these are called wind maxes because usually this is the power most powerful part of the jet stream if we were to uh, look at this during the winter usually around this area would be the heaviest snow but um, since it's spring you know this area serves as a severe weather line and for some heavy rain in that area and that you know just very very interesting characteristics going into this Let's go to a different model, a Canadian model, again showing similar things, a fairly defined, you know, ridge right here and a trough right behind it, and produces some phenomenal uh, storms that are, you know, phenomenal by some people's standards, by other people, some people may not be too excited to see this at all. Uh, I wanted to show you the MSLP and PWET, this basically shows you the precipitation, or, uh, sorry, the total precipitable water, precipital, yeah, precipitable, <laughs> I can't say it, precipital water in millimeters in the atmosphere. So you can see Winter Storm Wesley has quite a bit, but for spring standards, it's it's still relatively high. We see 40 millimeters. You know, once it gets right here, 90, 80, that's only usually seen in individual thunderstorms uh, when they are really localized and small and have a lot of potential, you know, energy because they're so small. But look at this. So if you thought Winter Storm Wesley was powerful, it is. And the severe weather, it is powerful. Right now, there's some enhanced outlooks going on. There are some, you know, some warnings, some watches going on. Thunderstorm warnings. I think there's even tornado watch in some in one location. And look, the precipital moisture or water with this one is much higher. Uh, it's not nearly as strong, but the, it's closer to the Gulf of Mexico. It could drag up this moisture much more quicker. It's more availability. It doesn't have to drag it for such a long area of uh, such a long real estate. And you can see um, some of these are getting into 50, into the 50 range, which is very high, fairly high and very high. And as soon as we get um, that much, we could definitely start seeing some significant things going on, like a significant outbreak, a big winter storm during the winter time. During the winter time, though, you rarely see such um, high, you know, such high anomalies. Let's go to the anomaly. Speaking of that, and see, you know, compared to average, what does this look like? You could see winter storm Wesley above average for many of locations, but wait till we get to this storm. Look at those colors, especially if you notice right along here. Focus on this line right here. It moves along with this, and that's where the extreme areas of Way, 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 way above average precip are. And that is most likely where the storms will form. Probably some supercells in front of this forming in Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, Tennessee, which could produce tornadoes. Not out of the question. And then this line could bring damaging winds, hail, even some tornadoes embedded in. And this could uh, just, you know, finish, finish the process kind of like the cherry on top in terms of damage and disaster with this, uh, with this system. And then you see this next system, we could be luck also looking at some severe weather. We are in April, this is severe weather season, and the video will again cut in a couple of seconds, so I do apologize. 
um, now I think it's recording again. So I wanted to finish this video off quickly by saying, uh, by showing you the Storm Prediction Center and what it has, why this is such a big deal. So look at this, guys, okay? Look at this. Right now we're seeing enhanced with and 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 uh, slight with this uh, storm that is powerful, but in terms of severe weather um, setup, it's not the best. This second one will be the better one. And look, enhanced slight for Thursday, Friday marginal, and then Saturday 14th. Look at that; it's just severe. Usually we don't see this, um, you know, unless it's a fairly big probability. So let's click on severe, and you can see it already has 30% chance. And this just goes through a little time lapse let's focus on day four so you can see um they this is day four they already have 30 percent or more that is a uh i think that is enhanced if i'm not wrong enhanced is 30 percent or more and they already have it four days out that is very far i've been tracking severe weather for quite a long time and you know they do obviously put out this once in a while but four days out enhanced that's, I, I'm thinking, guys, this, there definitely will be a moderate, if not a high, um, uh, you know, high uh, risk of seeing tornadoes and uh, thunderstorms, severe thunderstorms with this setup, because this thing is just overproducing, and, you know, the CPC, which is better than this at me, is already taking note of this. Um, and there's a lot of, this is a great website, it shows a lot of these, uh, mesoscale discussions look at that this is all for your area that you could be looking at and uh, you know amazing features amazing features and i really truly enjoy this and if we were to look at the categories this is in spanish but i could read spanish so uh, this basically sees moderate probability of storm severe of the storms is uh probability of severe thunderstorms uh amplia cuberta I don't really know. I think it's like of uh, it's very widespread. I think that's what they're saying. And then here, long long duration with uh, and widespread with great intensity. So um, you could see. And then the high one is way up here. And this one is you know alto, which is high. And this is basically saying they're uh, they're wishing or wanting or not wishing or wanting. They're predicting uh, severe thunderstorms in grand. Or in great widespread -y, I guess that's what they're kind of saying. Direct translation. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching. Consider liking the video. Consider subscribing to this channel. I'll catch you all guys in the next episode. See ya. Bye.